Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here to talk about Rebel 8. Rebel 8 is the next step in digital painting. It really is. Last year, I said that Rebel 7 was the best painting software on planet Earth, and Rebel 8 has continued that tradition. And it is as if this app has been and continues to be developed for someone just like me. I come from an oil painting background. I have painted in acrylic, gouache, oils, watercolor, ink. I use charcoal all the time. I'm a traditional artist by training and by experience and by career. So when I come to digital painting, I come to it with that kind of classically trained approach. And using Rebel 8 is unbelievable. I, I was writing in the forums the other day that it just felt like it was made for me. And I want to talk to you about why. So as we get into this preview, or I don't know, first impressions review, I think you're going to want to stick around because there's some things going on here that are perfect. So let's get into it. This entirely new brush engine is an addition to what we had before. Everything that you had and loved before is still there, but in the new version, we have bristle brushes, which let you change everything about how the paint stroke works on the page. Everything is simulating actual bristles and the simulated pressure that happens with thin, thick, and the edges of the pressure. It all interacts naturally with the texture and surface of the paper. Everything that you had before with the beautiful brushes in Rebel is still there, but now this is like real painting. If I had one gripe, just one gripe with Rebel before this update, even in the wonderful version that was Rebel 7, it was that I had to make my own brushes to create something that felt like the way I wanted to paint. But here, as you can see on this canvas, I'm testing out a bunch of different brushes, a bunch of different styles, and each one of them has a completely different feel and look. But what you notice is the interactivity, the per bristle paint quality on the canvas that you can see that every time you put brush to canvas, you have a unique interaction happening. It's not just like a stamp of color or a pre-calculated texture that's applied to the surface. You have an actual simulation of the interaction of a bristle and a collection of bristles according to your settings and creation of your brush interacting with that dappled paper and all the physics that they have going on with the fluid simulation. And somehow they've made this work fluently, beautifully, quickly, and efficiently. This is better than I ever dreamed it would be. And there's more, there's so much more I wanna to talk to you about. I'm gonna do an entire video just about the bristle brush engine and creating brushes and how it all works because for me, this is the thing I've been waiting for. This is the thing that takes this software into a place that, that has no rivals. Amazing watercolors. Perfect oils and things I never imagined. Watch out because this is going to get fun. Everything else here is a long list, but I want to jump right back in to bristle brushes for just a second and say the reason I started there is because how you touch a thing, whether it's um, a video game or a computer or a tool or a car, you know, that, that point of contact, that helps you feel like you're steering and interacting with it. That's where it really comes to life. And that's where this tool excels. The bristle brushes, everything I told you about them, including this, which is where you can change the color noise on a per bristle or per stroke level, allow that each individual stroke to have variations of a kind that I've only ever seen in an app called Heavy Paint, but now, you can combine maybe the very best thing in heavy paint with the very best thing in kind of like a traditional painting simulation like Rebel and have the absolute best of both worlds. This is so incredible. And like I said, I'm going to jump into this with a very in-depth video, but moving on, I want to talk about all the other things that are kind of supporting and augmenting what we have with the new brush engine. So if we go and you want to explore this. You could just jump in. I think the best way to do this would be to jump in on the 
Rebel website, which is at escapemotions.com. They have a kind of a breakdown with little individual videos that show what each tool does with what each enhancement does. And they all work together. They're really all kind of a family of technology. So the bristle brush engine is one. Real shaders is another. That's adding to that simulation of realistic bristles interacting with a realistic canvas in a realistic way. The real shader adds a realistic lighting model that illuminates that light color and canvas and texture. And when you have that working together with what their advanced nano pixel technology is, that's nano pixel two, they call it. That just means that you can now export files at a much greater quality or pixel density than you create stuff in. So let's say you're working on a lower power laptop. You don't want to be like bogged down with all of these huge files. You can work small and export big. That's awesome. And then you have soft shadows, which means that there's this ray tracing of the light, of the shadows, of the bounce light and color reflections and all of that stuff. Meaning that you have an authentic simulation that the painting you're creating doesn't just feel realistic to make, but it looks realistic to the eye. That all of the, the textures and the colors and the, the depth is reading like it would in real life. And that's kind of an amazing feat because um, ray tracing is not something that works quickly. It's uh, it's something you need like a specialized graphics card to do in, in computer simulations or in video games. But here they've made it work and it works in real time and it works incredibly. So then in addition to that, there's a bunch of other things like better interactions with Photoshop files or symmetry, which is a tool my wife uses all the time. There's also larger brushes, like much larger, like up to 3000 pixels. So all of this kind of under the hood technology that have allowed the tool to work, you know, better, faster, and more realistically is, is where this whole kind of package comes together. And while Rebel 7 was this huge update of the totality of the software, bringing it into a kind of like a, a, a flourishing of, of the ideas, Rebel 8 is hyper-focused on, on making the technology work better, but most specifically using bristle brushes to truly bring the essence of what this software is supposed to be about in the first place to life. And, and that's where this is one of those things that has to just be felt. I think when you get into testing out the new bristle brush engine and you go into the visual settings and just toggle on all the fun new things, you're going to be like, whoa, this is, this is different. This is amazing. Yeah, the software already has this amazing fluid simulation, but now we're adding to it brush simulation. And now we're adding to it realistic lighting simulation. Now we're adding to it environmental maps that you can change that will just, you know, with the click of a button, it sounds all fancy and technical, but you just click of a button. You can change the way that the light is reflecting in the virtual room on your virtual canvas. And, you know, all this sounds like, like very techno and very technical and very like, what, what, what does that have to do with me? But what it does is it creates a perfect experience. It's bringing this whole paint simulator into a sense of real simulation, like the, the completion of that idea of a simulation. So it's, there's a lot more there, but those are the big ideas to me is that it's about making the tactile experience of painting more authentic and then it's making the visual experience of that tactile experience more authentic and it's bringing those two together so that you can really see and feel something that has otherwise been impossible to see and feel in digital painting ever now let me compare this to the things that are out there the other apps that are out there and and let's just talk about why this is special as for comparisons if you follow my channel for a long time, you know that I was uh, and, and, and still a fan of Art Rage. I think it's a great app. Um, and I started my journey with Corel Painter, which, you know, was the only game in town for a long time, like at least for those of us that didn't kind of jive with Photoshop. And that was me in the early days. I didn't really understand Photoshop when I first started digital painting. And um, so I, I, 
I was a, a tinkerer, you know, I, I was an oil painter and a, um, a traditional artist who was tinkering with digital art. And that goes all the way back to high school when I was that one kid playing with that one computer that had Corel Painter on it in the late 90s. And I thought that was really fun back then, but I didn't really jump into digital art, digital painting until probably around 2009 or 10. And it was at around that time that I started to take it seriously and I really loved stuff that felt like real paint. So obviously I tried Painter and it was okay. You know, I, I, I did battle with that software to get some good paintings out of it, but it was hard work. And eventually I migrated over to ArtRage because it was just so simple and the brush simulation and the painting simulation was so good. And it's still a good app, you know, it's it's lightweight and simple and it runs even on an iPad. So that is an app I recommend to a lot of people that are transitioning to digital from traditional work. But I have to say, you know, ArtRage hasn't been updated in many years and it, it just doesn't hold a candle to this product on the desktop. It just doesn't. There is so much going on here that is next level and so much so that they're just totally different categories. Um, I think of ArtRage as kind of like a lightweight mobile app, and I think of Rebel as like a definitive desktop app. And it is something that just has to be experienced. And for all of you guys that watch this channel that love ArtRage, I totally get it. It's a fun app. I still kind of plein air paint um, on my iPad with it all the time, and my wife uses it all the time. She's a diehard ArtRager. And, um, <laughs> You know, she just, it's just because she just loves the kind of simplicity of it. But my argument is this, you know, if, if, if you could be using the best painting app on planet earth, why would you not be using it? If this app, uh, Rebel is not complicated, you know, it's pick up and play. I, I have, um, workshops and, and courses that I teach uh, people of all ages. And I really try to pay attention to what they respond to the most and almost everybody grabs on to rebel they love rebel they want to paint in rebel this is the one that kind of like grabs a hold of them and they they just want to hang on so um that's that's kind of my case study and the the people i work with is rebel is the best but um the other thing i want to compare it to is heavy paint you know heavy paint is a really strange quirky little digital app that does some things that um up until this time, you know, almost no apps do. I love the way it works and feels. Um, but now with some of the new things going on with the bristle brushes and the simulation there, I, I guess Rebel is even kind of taking over the small little space that heavy paint um, was occupying. I think Rebel really has no peer. Um, even Clip Studio, you know, Clip Studio is awesome. Um, but for people that are using, would try to use both. I don't know who or why or how you could use anything over Rebel. I mean, Rebel is just, it's just perfect. I mean, it's literally the best painting app. You can turn off all the 3D simulation stuff and it just works as a fantastic, highly responsive drawing and painting app. Or you can turn on all the fancy simulation stuff and it creates a perfect simulation of watercolor or of oils or of charcoal or whatever, or you can go in and, you know, you can make it whatever you want it to be. And you can paint stuff that like, that looks so fantastic and it feels so good to make that I just don't think there's anything else out there like it. You know, there's a lot of cool little, cool little apps that, that do a great job and, and, I just love it all. I mean, I'm not critical of any of the apps that are out there, but if you want to use the best that's out there right now, you'd be using this. So I hope you get into it because it's, it's amazing. And uh, check the links below because I have links to everything. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs>